Are you ready for this? Yes, sir. You will kill. Boysmith, this is the Naga Sword. I'm Joseph Jojo Salyers. I am 19 years old from Rutherford, North Carolina. I am a full-time bladesmith with my dad, Billy Salyers, who just so happens to be a Fortune Fire champion. Billy, you are the Forge of Fire champion. Good job, brother. And so here I am hoping I can show the old man up. The Naga sword traces its origins back to 16th century India. Featuring a broad square chisel tip, this weapon was great at inflicting powerful deadly chops in combat. This rare version of the Dao sword was reserved for the highest level tribal authorities due to the scarcity of iron in the area. While few Naga swords still exist, it can be seen on display in the halls of the British Museum in London. Match set of curved guitars. My name is Matthew Shirey. I live in the Smoky Mountains of North Carolina, and I think I'm ready to win. I've got a wife and two little boys. We like to spend a lot of time in the outdoors together. I think I can be pretty funny sometimes. I, I make my kids laugh anyway. I don't know about other people. While the guitar was immensely popular in India during the 16th and 17th century, this curved version is extremely rare and has been hailed as one of the most unique weapons in history. The ornate handle construction features two bars for the grip and provides the user enough control to make a very effective fighting knife. As a pair, the curved guitars were designed to deliver quick and lethal stabs and slashes using both arms. Today, this one-of-a-kind weapon can be seen on display at the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York. I'm back in Rutherford, North Carolina, and I'm ready to get started on this Naga sword. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take all 31 of these pieces of Damascus and we're gonna clean them off. We'll pull that out, get it going. Making my sword out of Damascus isn't required, but it adds an extra level to the blade that I think will help me out in the competition. It's coming along pretty well. I got a solid bit of Damascus. Time to get my blade in the oil. With Damascus, you have a bunch of little welds. Any of those welds could possibly pop open. I'm hoping everything comes out all good. All right, hot metal. My sword's quenched, it's pretty straight. All in all, my blade's mostly done. Most of the work I have to do is aesthetics and sharpening. That is what you like to see. My dad was kind enough to give me something to test my blade on. I present you a challenge worthy of your skills. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, a worthy opponent. Yeah. <laughs> shall go on the wall, we shall stuff it. My sword's comfy, sharp, it's done. Now it's time to go see what the judges can do with it. I'm back home here in Sylvan, North Carolina, and I'm super excited to get started on these curved guitars. Today I'm gonna try to get the blades forged and possibly the crossbars. My biggest concern is creating the fullers in the blade. I'll put the piece of steel in between those two dies and, and forge the fuller. This is the part I was most nervous about, so I'm gonna take it nice and slow. Finally got my fullers roughed in. These are the crossbars for the handle. Challenges are gonna be getting these handles just right. So I've just done what's called a reverse twist there. I've got the frames fabricated for my, my blades and the crossbars, and it's time to start assembling them. My handle in round two wasn't quite perfect, and uh, I want to make sure that doesn't happen in the final round. Got the handles attached to the blades and uh, ready for heat treat. This is always the moment of truth. I'm a little nervous going into it. Yep, that one looks good. Get number two and we're good to go. Good and hard. I feel ecstatic about my progress. I'm really pleased with the way they're looking. Bladesmiths, welcome to the kill test. To find out what kind of lethal damage your weapons will do, I'm gonna take your weapons and put some lethal blows or chops on this big carcass. 
Jojo, are you ready for this? Let's make some pork chops. <laughs> you got it. All right, Jojo, pork chops you wanted, pork chops you got. Most of the weight is right here in the handle, so that really lends itself to a nice, balanced weapon. Your sword's edge over here chops deeply, especially that one swing on the leg. And overall, you'll kill. Awesome. Matthew, your turn, are you ready? Yes, sir. Let's have fun. All right, Matthew, let's talk about your curved katars here. First up, I like the scale of your blades because katars are the, well, the big daddies of push daggers. And push daggers are relatively small, so there's a scale that goes with it to make it easier to control. And I think you've got that with your blades. It actually gives also a nice support when I'm stabbing and slashing. Overall, sir, your curved katars, you will keel. Thank you. All right, gentlemen, welcome to the strength test, the how to chop. Now, those howdahs would be riding on top of an elephant. This test is not about what your naga swords do to the howdah, but what that howdah does to your blades. And Jojo, you are up first. You ready? I suppose so. All right, so Jojo, uh, there's there's no damage. It's, it's a kind of an ax grind, but on a chopper, it works fine. It held up beautifully in the strength test. Well done. Thank you. Matthew, you ready? Let's do it. OK. So Matthew, right off, good traditional look to these. I like that a lot. They cut like they're supposed to cut. They're plenty strong. They held their edge beautifully. Good job. Thank you. Forged in Fire, War of Weapons.